this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. She knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she'd turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My god, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. And we didn't have an idea on her. Until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past.
when it all started. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know, maybe you can sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I can pick you up. Let me know. Pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. The monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. I'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? For those Where's of you just pole? tuning in, the manhunt continues that as authorities search fate. for Jack. That's a waste you the suspect in last night's university. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're helping the police looking for a trail. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who drew up the library? Um, James Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary?
My plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. It's even worse than my passport picture. Just making sure everybody's safe. No Okay, good. That's good. I just gotta make it across this damn bridge and it'll be clear.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. <laughs> the route down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Okay. Nice boat. Hold still. Hold still. Come on, come on. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head down.
downstairs, we have to talk about something. Hatch. This is the guy that visited me in the cell. He may be undermining Paul, but I get the impression he's not on our side. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. Amaral gets the machine working. We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. Hello, Riverport. Well, it's been a rough night for us. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. I think we'll told her about it. How long do you need? I already found the problem. Quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? Power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. Hit. Jack, you've got to see this. You should give Amaral a hand over there. Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. But I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff I've got here. <clears throat> all right. What is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. 
I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna wanna see it. Everything else they printed out and put on tables over there. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. <sighs> Jesus. Jack. Hi. It's Will. I... <clears throat> I guess you're in Thailand by now. I'm not sure if you even still use this number. Uh, like how we left things. Uh, I've been under a lot of pressure. There's some things I should tell you. I'd like to make it right. Just call me. Okay? Please.
levels are stable, the diagnostics are positive. This may actually work. It's ready. It's actually functioning. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing this. I'll set the data to the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No. Okay. Let's go. There's still time to rethink this. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the? Someone's in here. Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one.
He set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. I just have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just... Worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You follow Paul to 19. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river, along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. die finding out.